I'm gonna show you guys today how to make a textured background um, that is really fun for painting on top of. So I'm working with illustration board. When you use illustration board, it's a good idea to tape the edges down, otherwise it will try to curl on you. Now here's just kind of a little tip. Um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to show you this. When you use masking tape, you don't want it to be super sticky, so stick it to your sleeve or to your pants and what this is going to do is it's going to get lint on the tape um, that way it's not quite so sticky um, the reason we don't want it sticky is we, do, we just don't want it to rip your paper when you take it off so i'm going to put some tape on the edges of my painting see how i'm trying to keep it even that's going to make like a really beautiful border that looks super crisp and nice so make sure when you are putting your tape on you're not just being so sloppy about it we'll get a chance to be sloppy with our painting and have fun but for this tape you want it to be like a nice crisp even little margin it's a little border this is gonna be a blast you're gonna love this technique there is no right way to do it as long as you have fun All right, so I'm really taking time to get that tape not so sticky. All right, so now my painting surface, it's all ready to go. Um, now I'm gonna need to have my paints mixed and ready before I begin. Now this is my palette from the last painting I did looks like this um it was a lot of pink i don't know that i want so much pink but i'm trying to think uh like what could i do instead maybe i could do like um, i could do like some oranges so i'm actually gonna mix a whole bunch of not a whole bunch and just a just a little dollop of yellow into this and we'll give it a mix around and see what kind of color we get I like to work with analogous colors, so colors that are side by side on the color wheel. I kind of have like a mustard tone right now. Let's see if I can get a couple different variations of color to work with. I'll add a little bit of red. Sorry, I was trying to decide which way I wanted to go with analogous because I could kind of go into orange territory or I could swing the other direction and go towards green. But let's see if we can make ourselves a nice orange color to work with. That's a little bit on the red side because I mixed an awful lot of red. Let's see if we can get a mid-tone value. You can see I am a crazy painter. <laughs> I'm like, I just kind of go for it, you know? I'm going to put a little bit of my white paint right here. I'm, I don't want any of this to go to waste. We're going to use all of it. Put a little bit of white. I think that should be good. All right. So from here, I think what I would like to do, I'm gonna wipe off some of this excess paint on my towel. You can use a paper towel. I just use a rag. And oh my gosh, like it kind of becomes its own beautiful work of art, in my opinion. So when we make textured painted paper, we wanna start by having at least like three colors to pick from. So I have yellow, red, and orange. And we want to make our background color be the light color, the lightest color you have. So for me, that's yellow. Now I have a dirty brush, but the fancy word for it is a loaded brush. So it already has some other colors mixed in it, and that's not a bad thing. It's giving me like these really pretty streaks of orange and a little bit of red. I think it just looks nice. So your first step is to paint with a thick load of paint on your brush, and we're gonna paint it quick. So we're gonna call this paint thick and quick you got to do this fast because we don't want to overthink it and we don't want it to dry on us so i'm painting thick i'm painting quick it doesn't have to be thick on the canvas but just kind of thick on your brush Ooh, got a little bit more orange over there so cover that whole section up that's why we want to pre-mix our paint paint thick paint quick i'm getting close I'm really working against the clock here. All 
I'm gonna throw in some of this paint from the lid. All right. Just making sure there's not too much white. I want it to remain kind of wet. So you can see how fast my hands are moving. There's nice variation in the color. It's okay if yours was more of a solid color than mine. Like I said, I'm a little crazy. I just like to go for it. All right, so we paint thick, we paint quick. Now you're gonna take some of your darker colors and you're just gonna be crazy. Make yourself some polka dots of your darker colors. If you didn't want to do polka dots, if you wanted to do stripes instead, you could. It doesn't really matter. We're just laying down some color so that we get variation. Now this is the really fun part. What you're going to do is you're going to take a tool, like a comb or a fork, something from around your house, and you're going to drag it through your painting. You see how it's creating some little wavy stripes? You can decide how you want to do this. You could drag it in a straight line. You could spiral it around. It's totally up to you. And if you don't like it, you just can keep dragging on through. It's so fun. You cannot go wrong with this technique. And it just kind of creates a really awesome background for you uh, to have even more fun on top of later. And if you don't like it, like I said, just paint over it. Nothing bad is going to happen. I'm going to try doing like a zigzag. Let me see if I can show you up close. See the texture that's creating? So cool. It did create some thick lines and some thin lines, and I believe that's because this very first prong of my comb is quite thick and the rest are all finer. And that's okay, you know? It just is creating some interesting variation. So that's one background technique that you can use on your pattern paintings to create a surface to paint on. I want that focus. So this is one background technique that you can use to create a surface to um, make your painting and drawing on top of. So this will give you a texture and a pattern. This is more smooth and uh, more blended. So you can pick which technique you like. I like them both. <laughs> 